Well, Dave, I'll take my hat off to you there. Did you? Yeah, some yeah. stuff today, have you done? Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So you have not. That's as good. That's an yeah. exhibition stuff I've seen there. Right. Uh, nice September morning for uh, for Patrick shooting. And we're at the glorious Drumlandry Castle, a beautiful spot in the, uh, the Scottish countryside. We're just over the borders uh, in Dumfriesshire. And um, these partridges here, the fantastic birds, some of the highest in the land, most probably the, the highest in the land. But um, fantastic day, and as you can see, it's a beautiful drive up to the castle. And there she is, there's the castle. Lovely avenue of trees. Absolutely beautiful, st stunning uh, view. Driving on the way up to it. So it's got magnificent gardens that's open to the public. And they do need the general public's help now to maintain these, uh, these castles. They are unbelievable. Good morning everybody, uh, I'd just like to there welcome you from Landrig. Moving up to number from the right, turning on here. You're live in your peg, there'll be a point of blow to finish the drive, you shooting after a bomb. The main thing is enjoy the day. Are you going to give me a good uh, kick in today, then, David? A kick in few, yeah. Yes. I can manage it, uh, but I don't think I might, I might not be able the to. Oldest, the oldest poacher in Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Poaching's easy, shooting's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> New loading tool invented in the field by one of the keepers. It's first time I've seen something like that. I've seen all kinds of contraptions, but let's see if it works. This is the famous Scud Law. If you point the camera up there, you'll see how high it is. It's ideal flying weather, Duncan. It certainly is, yeah, yeah. a bit of wind. A wind, a bit of wind that we don't need here. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes them harder. That's true, yeah, with a height. <laughs>
Right, we've just uh, shot the Scud Law and the return drive on that. We're now shooting the Whirlpool, which is uh, another fantastic drive. As you can see, the hills haven't got any smaller, so but uh, the famous Whirlpool. Uh, you usually get birds in every di all directions here, so it should be very interesting. Certainly keep us uh, on our tours. We've just finished uh, lunch and uh, we're at the fourth and final drive called the Buthy. I think it's the first time I've ever shot that. Shot this uh, this drive. There's some really nice birds. It's just too far up there at the minute. But I imagine these are going to be like grouse on steroids. But look at these with this wind. It's very it's very windy. Oh, what a fantastic drive, what a good finish it day. Um, took some gain hold of those. Early on we just um, rain, we put the range finder on that tree, it's 54 yard away. But a lot of stuff for 20 yards beyond them trees. Going like buggery, we did get one or two, but they took some bloody gain hold of. And uh, this is why people come to Drumland regularly, this is a real test. You know, you can't hit all these birds, it's so diverse. There's every angle and speed that you can think of on, the, on these little birds off these uh, these tops. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Beautiful location and a pleasure to be here. We've turned a, what could have been an awful day into a very good day, mate. I don't know how you've done it, how you've managed it, but you've 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 pulled it out of the bag again. Uh, Without no, a shadow of a doubt. I try our best, so we did. Yeah. I try our best. You see, you stay up with a big house, which makes it easier, but you've still to, yeah. you've still to get them. Well, you've got something to throw the them off anyway, but you've still you got to be skilled. men in the right button. You've still got to be skilled enough to do it, mate. <laughs> yeah, you have. The team I joined for the two days at Drumlanrig were lovely to show with, and a funnier bunch of lads you could not have found. 
Every last one of them, apart from me, was from Ireland. So we can only imagine the crack. These lads have been making the same trip to Drumlanrig for over 10 years, and it was like a pilgrimage for them. Every year, shooting teams come from all over the world to enjoy the stunning scenery and the country sports that the UK has to offer. This boosts the local economies 20-fold throughout the shooting season. Let's ensure it remains this way forever. Thank you.